Hey guys, um, I'm back because I wanted to do a little review of Reg and Bones Miramar jeans. I don't know. I don't know if you guys have heard of the Reg and Bone Miramar line, but it's it's basically um, denim that is made from 100% Tencel Lyocell. They're made to look like jeans, but these are definitely like these are definitely not jeans. They basically screen print, Reg and Bone um, screen prints denim details onto a pair of like really comfortable pants is basically what's going on. And like, they're weird. This is a weird thing. Um, you know, it's one of those things where Reg and Bone had called me and they were like, you know, hey, Shayna, do you think we should screen print denim details onto these pants? I would have been like, no guys, you know, don't do it. And I would have been totally wrong because these pants are amazing. So I had first heard of these um, these Miramar uh, pants by Rag and Bone sometime during the pandemic. Scotty and Laura actually did a full review of their joggers because I think they came out with a pair of joggers first. Um, and the joggers, um, we'll link <laughs> we'll link their review below because the joggers were kind of a disaster. They had screen printed, you know, jean or denim detail onto these things, but like there were like fake pockets screen printed on and then real pockets in a different place and so nothing lined up and there was mm, there was some let's call them like design flaws <laughs> in the first iteration the idea fundamentally is kind of intriguing because what you end up having is a seriously comfortable pair of pants that look like jeans. As they've tweaked the design, it's just gotten better and better. So first things first, what is Tencel Lyocell? Um, I'm excited that this is the fabric they chose because it is more environmentally friendly. It's plant-based, it's biodegradable. Um, I think it's made from like wood pulp from sustainable forests. And um, it actually requires less energy and water to produce than conventional cotton, yet the behavior of it when you're wearing it is a little bit more like cotton. It's very breathable, especially compared to other synthetics. So like, this is a good, this is a good fabric. So that's what these are made of. Um, and because they're tensile lyocell, you can wash it um, on cold, but don't ever put these in the dryer because um, they get that like weird wrinkle situation. So wash them on cold, lay them flat to dry, I hang them up. In terms of care, um, it's not bad. So I have the sort of wide leg relaxed pant, um, not the joggers, and the sizing I found runs pretty big. So I have been hovering between a 26 and a 27 in most jeans, and for these I went with the 26, and they're still pretty loose around the waist, which frankly I actually love. I like that sort of like slouchy, kind of like almost down around your hips, it's very 90s low rise vibes without being like tight 90s low rise. The result just tends to be like sort of like that nonchalantly like cool sort of like jeans just hanging off me kind of a look. But yeah, I really like after, you know, years of these like tight high rise jeans, these feel so comfortable to wear. The inseam online is marked as a 29 inch inseam, which is not super long. Um, I'm only like, just shy of 5'3". Um, and these jeans are definitely too long for me to wear with anything but the highest heels, so I am gonna have to hem them. I just haven't decided exactly where I wanna hem them. But yeah, they're, they're marked as being 29 inches, but to be honest, this pair, this particular pair, when I measured it, it's actually like 28 and a half or 28 and three quarters. It's like just shy of 29 inches. This might be a little problematic if you're super tall. That said, if you buy it up a size and they kind of ride low on your hips and you wear them with some sneakers, like that's a really good look. So Scotty had actually written an article about these jeans um, a while back and I'll link to that below as well. But one thing that didn't come across in photos that definitely um, comes across in real life is the fact that these pants are so like deliciously drapey that even though they are super comfortable, like literally they feel like pajamas and super casual, in person, they actually look a lot more polished than I expected. I don't know if it's, I don't know if polished is the right word, but they, they look, they can be elevated very easily, which was a surprise. I would not hesitate, quite frankly, to pair this with like a silky tank and even like a structured trench and some heels and like go out. They have that sort of like nonchalantly cool look um, that elevates quite nicely. And that is thanks 100% 
fantastic drape of the leg of these pants. When you're walking around, they just move so nicely. And it's very much more of like a, like a, like the movement is much more akin to like a trouser than it is to like stiff denim. I just, I've been really excited. I think these pants are a huge win. That said, because they are so ridiculously comfortable, I would not hesitate to pair them with a pair of sneakers and a t-shirt. This is my big debate, right? Like, do I wear them with heels? or do I wear them with sneakers? I don't know, because I might have to like hem them to two different lengths. God, we're back in that like, we're back in that era again, unless I get two, hmm, I don't know. And the last thing I wanted to mention about uh, styling these, these jeans or pants or whatever we're calling them, because they have such beautiful drape and because the waistband is, you know, going a little lower um, than my all of my high-rise jeans. The front of them sort of manages to look good even when I'm wearing untucked sweaters, which hasn't been the case for a very long time. Ever since we went high-rise, I've almost always had to tuck almost all my sweaters in because otherwise, you know, they look kind of funny with, you know, over top of the high-rise jeans. That is not the case with um, the Miramar wide leg pants. A shorter sweater looks great, with these jeans, um, I really like that sort of silhouette. But what I'm finding is even like my go-to Jenny Kane sweaters, which I normally tuck into high-rise jeans, even those sweaters, even though they hit a little bit um, lower on my hips, they still look good untucked. The whole deal <laughs> with these pants is that not only are they super comfortable on their own, but the pieces I'm pairing them with also just keep you know doubling down on that like uber comfortable look yet the result is much more elevated than i would have expected that's my review uh they're pricey rag and bone jeans are always pricey but i have not i have not met a pair of jeans in a long time that i was this excited about and they look much better in person than the pictures do um the pictures definitely don't do it justice online so i definitely wanted to hop on and like show you guys how they move in person because um they're a huge win. That's it. Hope you guys liked it. Once again, if there's anything else you guys want to see, let us know in the comments. And um, yeah, I'd love if you could like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.